Hello, Classy Crew. It's time for one of those heart-to-heart -heart talks that content creators like to do from time to time. And I'm no exception. I like to do these to check in with you, share what's been going on at the channel, what the content plan is, what I've been thinking, where I'm going. And if you've been paying attention to the channel, you'll notice that the content has been just all over the place. What used to be a very steady Tuesday, Thursday video for almost the past three years has kind of fallen off the rails and there's a little bit of everything coming out, sometimes one video a week, sometimes no video a week, with no real consistency or plan. And um, wanted to kind of address that and talk about what's been going on and really the, the major event that's been changing all the content on the channel is the 12 Trials of Hey J, which I announced back in July, which was a uh, essentially a subathon through Twitch and YouTube to let me go through a lot of old outstanding trials uh, and take them on and challenge myself. Before that, it was always Tuesday. Uh, I was basically streaming Tuesday, Thursday, where Thursday is a Monster Hunter game, Tuesday is a secondary game. And then that would correlate to a video on the channel where Thursday was a Monster Hunter video, Tuesday was the secondary game I was playing. So since then, the 12 trials have been going actually quite well. I've successfully cleared quite a bit of backlog. I finally finished Monster Hunter 3 U, which was sitting around for a year. That's done. I finally finished Castle, my Castlevania pledge, which that's taken me four years to get to. So that's done. I finished Rise Quest, which is half my Sunbreak quest, uh, pledge, but we're getting there. And I've advanced Devil May Cry one more game and started Devil May Cry 4. So some of you might not remember that pledge, but I've pledged to play through that franchise too uh, a good year or so ago. And I'm actually in the process of finishing up some bosses I never finished in Dark Souls 3, and eventually Bloodborne as well, through the Chalice Dungeons. And I'm about to take on a Cephadrome, thanks to those 12 trials, in Monster Hunter 1, which means I have to do the terrible quest, which is the Liver of Legend quest, which is horrendous. Now, once all of that is done, and I expect it'll be done in the next couple weeks, I've pretty much got four pledges left in my backlog. I've got Monster Hunter for you, Slay All the Fatalises, which is one of the more recent ones, uh, the Sunbreak Pledge of completing every quest available to me with a check mark, Dragon's Dogma, just getting to the credits of that, which we're getting quite close, and then the Devil May Cry franchise, which I still have Devil May Cry 4 and 5 to finish, um, and those are the ones I was looking to the most. So I really want to finish all of that before we talk about what's next, what's happening. And I also want to share with you a little bit about where my mind's at and just as a creator, what I've been thinking. I can clearly see that the appetite of the audience here, you know, is very Monster Hunter driven. And some of the magic I've heard, and I've spoken with some of you and, and discussed, you know, the content isn't what it used to be two years ago, where it was really me who knew nothing about Monster Hunter, diving into Monster Hunter, and then documenting my journey through it. That was a very unique piece of content that's very hard to replicate. Uh, I've, I've tried replicating it through other franchises that I knew nothing about, like the Dark Souls, the Elden Rings, and all that, and many of which I've come to enjoy as well. And I can keep doing that with other IPs, but the other IPs don't share that same charm, as you will, as the whole monster hunter narrative and so that combined with the fact that i've felt under the gun a little bit to deliver a tuesday and a thursday video every week no matter what i think has caused maybe the quality of the content or the feel of the content to not be what we all want it to be and so I'm reflecting on that. And what is the future here? What should I be doing? Should I be sticking to the journal content, which is a, the journal style, which is a very unique way of covering games that I don't really see anyone else do it. And it's a good way of recovering the streams too, recapping streams in an interesting way where you're not just getting clips, but you're getting my actual impressions of the game and my antics with the stream chat and what's going on. Should they be reviews like what I used to do before Monster Hunter? Um, you know, I really want to bring something unique to videos before I go that route. So if I am going to do reviews, I want to do it in a way that really stands out from what the rest of the crowd is. And importantly, I also want to make it a comfortable pace for me where I don't feel like I have to rush and all that because let's face it, I am not a full-time content creator. I am uh, actually a business owner where I've launched 
full time into my business a year ago. And I'm trying to build this thing, which I don't know if any of you have ever owned a business, but it is stressful. I got to manage employees, cash flow, clients, revenue costs, and I got to make sure that there's money at the end of the day to pay myself. So it's been a absolute wild ride that I would be happy to document once I see how this plays out, because it's a rocky adventure. Um, so all of that said, content creation is a little bit of an escape for me. It's a way that I can be creative and get away from the stresses of every day. And I enjoy doing it, but I think this is not something that's necessarily going to be a full-time gig anytime soon. And as much as I would love it to be a full-time, I think it's better to just let it go and understand that you know, this is going to be a hobby and let's treat it as such. Let's not kill ourselves over the hobby by trying to like deliver a quota for, for no specific reason. And so from this point, I've pretty much decided the content is going to drop when it's ready. I'm not going to force myself to go out every Tuesday, Thursday to make a video. Instead, I'm going to make a video when I have something that I really want to share with you, something that I feel is meaningful about my streams, about my journeys through. Will it be a you know single-handed review, like a one-off review or multi-entry journal? I think it will vary depending on the game and what I have to say. Some adventures, some playthroughs lend themselves better for journals like Monster Hunter. Uh, so I'm definitely going to finish like Monster Hunter for you, Dragon's Dogma um, in a journal format. Everything else is up for debate, all depending on what I feel about that. And once I have finally like cleared everything, I don't want to be juggling so many pledges anymore. That was just me getting too ambitious again. I want to make it manageable where there is one, at most two, games that I'm playing and covering uh, actively on the channel. And that's what hopefully you all come to engage with uh, whenever that content is ready. So it's going to be Monster Hunter that's, you know, once I get through these 12 trials, Monster Hunter is going to be back on the menu more regularly. That's not going anywhere because once 4U is done, Monster Hunter Generations is next. And then I've got so many more Monster Hunters after that. In fact, Monster Hunter 6 will probably drop before I can even go back and finish all the old stuff. Um, I do really want to get into Final Fantasy XIV and or Xenoblade. I know XIV is a way bigger commitment than Xenoblade. And I do want to check out the other Soulsborne games that are constantly coming out. We still have Seculo. We st we've got other games, Dark Souls 2. I don't know if I'll ever touch that. Uh, Lies of P. Like there's other IPs that touch that genre, which I have come to appreciate a lot more. And I want to cover all of them, but I don't want to get into the trap of uh, trying to do too much and then not making content that people would ultimately care about. Um, so once all of this backlog of pledges is done, you know, we're going to be playing these games regularly on stream two to three times a week. That does work very well for me in my schedule. And the videos will follow when there's something exciting to come out. So you'll always have some Monster Hunter content. I would actually really love if we had a Final Fantasy XIV community eventually. It's a game I've been really curious about. Honestly, I've never really got sucked into an MMO, uh, so I don't even know if I would get hooked the way people, but they say the story is such a like fantastic medium. I did play World of Warcraft for a while, never really got to endgame of that, and I did play Star Wars Old Republic up into endgame, did a bit of raiding, but like I wasn't hooked on it. So the MMO formula... I just don't know how that's going to play with me. Like, I really want to play Final Fantasy XIV just for the story. So I intend to really just enjoy my time through that game and make it through the story and share with all of you my thoughts on that story because it's apparently, you know, one of the most grandiose stories ever told in the medium of entertainment. Uh, so I got to go check that out. And the other stuff, we'll see how I'll squeeze that in. I'm not making promises. I'm not making pledges. Uh, but that's where I'm at. So hopefully, you know, I'll still see you either on the streams or the videos. Love to hear your thoughts, what you think about the channel, the direction I'm taking, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, it's actually through a lot of healthy, honest criticism that I make a lot of these decisions. And I'm always listening to comments and feedback, um, seeing what you guys enjoy watching, because ultimately I enjoy creating the content, but it's even better if you guys enjoy watching the content. And so um, from this point on, don't expect a video every Tuesday, Thursday. Unfortunately, I, I just can't commit to that schedule. Um, very likely that there will be a weekly video because the editor is probably watching this going like, what's going to happen to my job? Um, so I do have the editor. The editor actually does do this um, as I don't know if it's their full time job or a part time job, but they do have steady work with my videos. And so um, 
they're 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 still gonna stick around i'm not firing them or anything they're always gonna have some work we're gonna bring more clips uh compilations to the channel so stuff that you may have missed on twitch that we've never really done before and uh, we're just gonna look at doing maybe more like community type content so i'm still gonna get creative still think of how we're doing it the future there's a lot of unknowns this is a whole kind of pivot in a way uh so we'll see what works what doesn't a year ago i split my content into three channels to see how that worked and we learned from that it didn't work so we brought it all back together so i'm always experimenting always trying things we're going to try this for now making content when it's ready not because a deadline says it should be ready and otherwise i will be still streaming every tuesday and thursday so if for whatever reason or you happen to be free for that you can follow me over at twitch.tv uh, slash hey official i also am exploring potentially doing more like youtube chat streams just to chat with all of you and um I really look forward to getting back to, you know, Monster Hunter for you to my regular Monster Hunter content because it's been almost a month or a couple weeks uh, that I haven't been getting that Monster Hunter video out every Thursday. And it feels weird. It feels so weird. So I, I really enjoy doing those those journals. There's something about a Monster Hunter tale that just I don't know, maybe it's just because of how we all got to know each other, but it feels special so i will see you on the next video and uh, the next one should probably be a castlevania one which i know a lot of people don't like watching but i really need to wrap up my thoughts around that as someone who had never played the franchise and ended up playing 25 plus games of the uh franchise so that will be my last castlevania video probably and uh, i'll see you there or on stream until next time keep it classy